when you ask king Arabic Sunni Arab and Shia Arab they don't they are afraid from any kind of change if you uh, ask them why you don't build a federal state federal federal region for Shia federal region for Sunni and federal region for Kurds and the, uh, there have to be a kind of law to for the minorities to save minorities save their rights they oh they said oh we don't want to divide Iraq so they are still there is no um, uh, no agreement between the Iraqi people to have a proper political system in Iraq for all people uh, and uh, depend on the human rights and depend on the uh, uh, values, huh? international values, uh, for people to live together in peace. He don't believe in the, uh, in the diversity in Iraq. He wants to uh, dominate everything in Iraq, so, um, but step by step. So he's very dangerous. A religious man, and he want to build exactly what there is in Iran, bring the Iran's model in Iraq. But he is not talking about it until he come to his uh, goal. These elements are all uh, obstacles to come to this uh, to these results. Of course, the tribe is still very, very strong, even uh, specifically in Iraq. Uh, the, the religious institutions, specifically by Shia Arabs and by others, the mentality is religious. So and religious mentality wants to have a kind of hegemony huh, on all other people. So you don't, uh, you know, in Baghdad, Islamists are in power specifically Shia Islamists. There is no another other uh, political parties than Islamists, Arab political parties. All of them are Islamists. So uh, they, they are uh, considering secularism as uh, something hateful, as something danger on the people, of, uh, on the Muslim people, on, on the Islam. So they, they don't let to be there uh, a secular uh, political system and if you don't have a secular political system you can uh, guarantee the uh, uh, religious minority my minorities right rights that's uh, one of the mm, big problems because uh, still Muslim people they, 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 they think that Iraq is an Islamic uh, country and Islam should be uh, determinate everything. I don't know if there is a miracle coming from the Himal or somewhere. Even Americans try to bring a uh, kind of a democratic uh, system, but the democratic system, you can't bring democratic system. Maybe they could help, but uh, with this mentality is difficult. Democracy is a culture, so it is difficult to bring democracy to people here, specifically Arab areas or into Baghdad, uh, so easily. It, maybe it needs a very long time. Under, under the condition of if there is a plan to democratize the state. Otherwise, what you see in Baghdad, it is just a scenario. It's no, no there is no democracy. There is uh, no uh, negotiation between people. They can't negotiate. They didn't learn to negotiate. They can't bring a kind of uh, political system uh, for all of the groups. So every group wants to have a political system according
according to their ideas and their interests. Specifically, the biggest uh, obstacle is uh, religion. Uh, so if, if they agreed to build a secular state, a secular democratic state, then we can talk about a kind of solution. There is no state. The political sta parties owning the state, not the state owning the political party and people. So all political parties want to have a kind of hegemony on the state. Uh, and we see it in, in Iraqi Kurdistan too. So um, Shia political parties, huh? they are, uh, they have own militias, they have own forces, own uh, 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 economy, and Sunni huh? kind of, and Kurdish, as you see, they have a, a independent region, but political parties inside the region, Kurdistan region, they are, Every political party, the two main political parties, uh, they have own huh, own forces and own economy. So how you can go to talk about the uh, state or the, the system, political system? So it is upside down. Uh, if you want to re uh, correct the the situation, it is difficult. It is. It needs time, maybe. I don't have a positive word about Iraq, unfortunately, because uh, the Iraqis don't want to have a solution for themselves. It has a historical dimension, and th this historical dimension affected the mentality of people. So you can't change the mentality, that's the problem. When you when you, when you could make a change in the mentality, then maybe we can talk about a solution.